steps off at 1 tomorrow afternoon in Market and Penn Streets. I'll be there along with several other members of the News 8 team. And the big question, will the weather hold up? I think as we go into the afternoon, the steady rain starts to taper off to more of a shower so, and drizzle. Man. Yeah, but if you're planning on going out in the morning and setting your spot aside for that parade route, well, it's going to be a rainy one for us. We start with a live look from our York SkyCam right now, and uh, we started off with sunshine this morning, but as you can see, that is a different story now. Pretty overcast here. As I was just outside a few minutes ago, you can see a little bit of sunshine trying to peek through the clouds, but overall, we're starting to see those overcast conditions. The clouds are thickening up, and that will continue over the next few hours. Currently in the White Rose City, 45 degrees. The other number to look at, that dew point. It's pretty low. The closer that air temperature and that dew point are together, the more moist the atmosphere is. So right now, we're actually pretty dry. So as the rain begins to move in, it will take a little bit of time before it finally reaches the ground. It will be evaporating before it does so. Uh, southeasterly wind here around 13 miles per hour. No big deal for us. It is making things feel a little uh, chillier than it actually is. Right now, though, we're seeing those clouds advancing in and also starting to see that moisture knocking on the doorstep right now. You actually have to go back all the way to Pittsburgh to see any observations of rain. Like I said, it's taking a little while to eat away at some of that dry air. But there is a lot of moisture surging in from the Gulf of Mexico. You can see that direct feed coming even back down towards the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. Uh, that moisture shield will be heading our way as we go throughout the next few hours. And that rain as we go into tonight could become heavy at times. So here in the News 8 Storm Team forecast, that rain will be arriving near or just after sunset. Near sunset in our western counties, it'll take a little bit longer to spread east. But we'll see those temperatures falling from the mid-40s down into the low 40s tonight. Overall, rather mild for an evening because of all the cloud cover. And our lows tonight actually just dropped down to about 40 degrees, but that rain could be heavy at times through the overnight and even as we go into tomorrow morning. Uh, pretty steady rain till about midday tomorrow. But then I do believe it starts to taper off a little bit. We get into some showers and some drizzle. And overall, the afternoon shaping up uh, not to be a total washout, that's for sure. And our highs will finally climb up back into the mid to upper 50s, so it will start to feel a little bit milder. But then we'll focus our attention on those creeks and streams because we could be talking about over an inch of rain falling in some spots of the Susquehanna Valley. The good news is, at least from the River Forecast Center, our smaller creeks and streams, the Conestoga River, the Swatera, as you go to uh, around Hershey and then up towards the um, farther, points a little farther to the north, the Conna de Gwinnett and the Yellow Breaches Creek are all expected to stay below action stage, at least in the forecast from the River Forecast Center over the next 48 hours. But it looks like that crest will likely be as we go into later parts of Sunday, early parts of Monday. It takes a little bit longer for the main stem Susquehanna. Our current temperatures right now range from the low 40s to the east into around 50 degrees farther down to the southwest. But we are starting to see some of that rain pushing in into western parts of Pennsylvania. And that trend will continue as we go throughout the next few hours here. See that rain starts to knock on the doorstep. And by the time we hit around uh, midnight tonight, pretty much everybody going to be seeing that moderate rain. Could be heavy at times as we go through the overnight. See those pockets of yellow showing up on Predictor. And it's all because we're waiting for this warm front to lift to the north. Low pressure slides to the east, and once we get into a little bit of drier air by about midday tomorrow, the steady rain tapers off to more showers and just some drizzle until this cold front comes through. And I'm not expecting that cold front to make it through probably until uh, closer to sunset tomorrow evening. But once it does go through, you start to see things drying out temporarily. We still have to wait for the upper level energy to swing through. So tomorrow afternoon, the clouds come back in, and there is a chance, at least a slight chance, of seeing an additional shower for the day on Sunday. But like I said, overall, the rain could amount to about an inch or more in some spots across the valley. Looks like some drier amounts towards the uh, higher elevations, a little downwind off of the, uh, the high terrain to our west. But we'll continue to keep our eye on it. And it's that inch plus of rain that could uh, cause those rivers to rise pretty quickly here as we go in through the weekend. So if you have some of those interests, pay attention closely to that. By Monday, I think that's the A plus day out of the seven day. Pretty sunny with mild temperatures. St. Pa uh, Patrick's Day itself, 50 degrees, shower, maybe a little uh, breeze to go along with that brisk and cool as we go out through the rest of the week with increasing clouds for the first day of spring. Uh, today's kids art comes to us from Molly Crumbling of Columbia. And Molly, got a nice spring scene there, some great flowers. I think those flowers will start to poke up here as we go through the next few weeks. Thanks for sending that one in, Molly.